Hello, this is Lisa Fox Bale from healthappeal.ca. And you've got one item in your house that I'm willing to bet is sabotaging your weight loss efforts. You're either walking all over it or ignoring it completely. And in case you haven't guessed it, that item's the scale. How many of you know exactly how much you weigh? And how many of you are willing to say that number out loud in front of others? When you weigh yourself excessively, like as in every day or even multiple times per day, you gauge how you feel and how you respond to food based on the number on the scale. And that's not a healthy way to live. It's not going to help you out with your weight loss long term. The same goes for those of you who don't know how much you weigh. I know a lot of women who never go on the scale because they just don't want to know what that number is. And if you're in that boat, you're frankly fooling yourself by not knowing your numbers. So, what I propose instead is find something that works for you, usually weighing yourself at a specific time, such as first thing in the morning every day, or once a week or even once a month. But you should weigh yourself on a semi-regular basis so that you know your numbers, you can track your progress, there are other ways to know whether or not you're losing weight besides the number on the scale, but the number on the scale does provide valuable information. But don't weigh yourself so much that you start to change the way you feel, change the way you behave, and change the way you eat based on the number. Because there's so much more to weight loss than just that number on the scale. So until next time, Take care, be well, and don't toss your scale out completely, but don't chain yourself to it either. This is Lisa Fox Bale from healthappeal.ca.